probably recording. Yeah. Hey everybody, just to say we're back. Um, I've now recently, well, past a lot of weeks, I haven't really done a video. So, we are back, me and my son. <laughs> um, well, it's a lot of, well, I have, um, internet. I have the internet in my, my apartment, but the thing is, my <laughs> internet's not very good, and every time I try and record, it doesn't want to work, so. We have to come to my mum's to use her internet and to upload, so it's lucky I come here a little bit. Um, so Edward is 19 weeks old now, and he's plenty big, he's a big boy, he can't really, he's big. Um, last time I got him weighed, he was 17 pounds, 6 ounces and a half, 17 pounds, 4 ounces and a half, that was two, two weeks ago, yeah, when he was 17 weeks, so, yeah, two weeks ago. Um, He's grown really good. I'll pick him up so you can see. Ooh. He's quite big, to be honest. And he's a, he's a mummy's boy. That's the problem with him. He's very clingy to mummy. And he um, has to be with me all the time. Um, I can't go out the room. And he'll, go, he'll start like crying or grunting because I'm not with him. Um... He likes the laptop, so I'll have to apologise for that because he's trying to attack the keys like he normally does, bless him. Um, yeah, so we haven't done a video in ages, so I thought I'll quickly come and do one before I go and work out. Um, well, what should I tell you? Haha, <laughs> start with the obvious. He doesn't sleep through the night yet, no. Um, apparently boys don't sleep take a bit longer to start sleeping through the night, but Edward doesn't want to sleep through the night. <laughs> um, he'll sleep, um, sometimes we put him to bed at 8, he'll sleep through to 3, which is quite good, and then he'll wake up at maybe 4, and then he won't go back to sleep, he has to come in my bed, which I try, I do stop, and I do put him back in, but it's the fact that I have to keep putting him back in the cot, because he's still in my room. Um, so if anybody's got any good tips about how to help get him to sleep through the night. I would love to hear your tips because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> um I've got to that wasn't very nice. I've got to finish his bedroom. Um because I've no one I've still got to put carpet down. I've got to get curtains up. I've got to get his letters to go on his wall. I've got to put the wall stuff up. I've got to finish the painting. I just haven't had time to do it and I really want to put him in his own bedroom soon. His bedroom's kind of jungle themed but it's not that good for him blue and jungle theme. I wanted to because I'm, I'm quite good at painting. I wanted to like paint like a full on jungle theme and then have like his letters of Edward going across the wall which I wanted to do but I don't think I've got enough time to do it. I would love to do it that way. Maybe when he's older I will. Um, yeah but sometimes he's only ever slept kind of through twice. The first time was New Year's Eve we put him to bed about 12 and he didn't wake up until 6 which is good. And then the other time was not last night, the night before, and he went to bed at 10 and he woke up at half or 5, which is quite good to be honest for him, he doesn't normally do that. Um, I don't mind. It's that the fact that I'm still nursing as well, and um, I've been told to stop feeding him now at night because he's so big and I've just got to give him water. But it's so much easier just to put him on and you'll fall asleep. The thing is, I fall asleep as well. So there's me and him like sticking in my bed, which is really bad. So he's got to go in his own room soon. Um, it might make it easier for me just to give him the mitt of the water and then put him off to sleep. Um, oh, he's baby dad. He's a baby dad. Um, oh, I... This is the fact that I haven't done a video in ages, I don't know what to say. Um, he's on solids now as well. He'll have his baby porridge for dinner. Like, no, he'll have his baby porridge for breakfast. He'll have some rice maybe for dinner. And then some, like, mixed vegetables or fruit for tea. Um, and he'll have his milk, but he doesn't drink as much as he, what he did. He still will maybe drink an eight-ounce bottle, but he'll only drink, like, three. So there's ten or... Oh, he used to drink loads of rice in the solids. It's ridiculous how much he used to drink. 
I put him on solids when he was three months old, which I know you're not supposed to now. They recommend six months, but I put him on it at three because he was eating far too much every two hours. Eight ounce bottles every two hours is a lot. Um, he loves to sit in a stroller. He can sit in it all day. But his like jungle gym type of thing, he hates. He won't go in it for very long. He'll get really fed up a line on his back. And he'll lie in his front, and then he'll just get fed up on his front. So he'll either drop his head down and start fighting the floor, and like trying to move and push his bum up a little bit and try and get over, or he'll just sit there and roll over and just then. Then he'll get grumpy because you're not like talking to him. He likes to sit in his bum boo. He likes sitting in that. Um, he can sit in that all day. <laughs> But he obviously after a while he's get he's like I'm fed for sitting up now can I just lay him back a little bit try to pull himself up and if you put him on the floor now he'll sit up by himself which for like four and a half months is quite good to be honest I'm quite pleased with him he just sits down he'll sit there for a little while on his own and then it'll kind of fall over he gets a bit fed up um he, yeah he. He don't like he doesn't like me being out of the room. Oh he doesn't like me being out of the room without him. He likes to come, so I have to put him in his bouncer with him and stuff. But he is a good little boy but he's getting a bit bored at the moment. He's like, Why can't I play with a laptop? Here's a laptop, look. What's that? Um I'm trying to lose some of the baby weight now because I know it's not budging at all, no matter how long I just need it, like not eat much it just seems to get. I'm starting to do my exercises, but I'll show you my, um, kind of, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like now. It's kind of like the nonsense brief part and body, it's kind of just horrible. It looks like I'm still pregnant, kind of. Because I didn't really have a bump until I was 30 weeks. I had this tiny little thing, and then it just grew out of nowhere in the last half of, like, 10 weeks. just come out of nowhere, so that's when my bump started coming, so I'm just kind of thinking my baby bits aren't really going to go now, so I'm hoping if I keep doing the exercise they will. Um, what else to say? I'm in my flat now full time, I'm at my parents at the moment, um, because I'm house and they're going on holiday tomorrow, so I've got a look after the dog, take the dog out, so if you want to play, you can walk for me. Um, and to get him out as well. Oh, he's getting excited. Oh, he's the dog, he's getting excited. He's kind of just like that. Great. Um, yeah. <laughs> he gets very excited over <laughs> the dog. He's like, ooh, dog! Um, yeah, I've got to go back to work. Uh, it's only on a Saturday, though, so to be honest, it's not that bad, but I've got to go back to work on, well, in July or June. So it's not, it's a little while away, but I've still got to go back to work. Um, it's quite nice to be able to stay with him until he's two. But knowing me, he'll start to do all this crawling and walking when he's with my mum. My mum's going to have him on Saturday. So he can start like doing all that, I reckon, when I'm not there. And I'll be like, no, I want to see you do it. But he's lovely, and I'm so proud I've got him. Apart from when he gets like, eh, eh, eh. And I'm like, Ed. And he just sits there making that noise for ages. And I'm like, Ed. You won't let me go out of the room, good to me. You have to come with me everywhere. He's so clingy. I don't, I wish he wasn't so clingy, but I don't mind. He's my little man. I'll make another video in a minute anyway to uh, show you guys. But I'll put him down and I'll show you my my bod. Can <laughs> you sit there for a second, darling? Good boy. Okay. This is my uh, kind of I eat this part. It's horrible. I hate it. It's like all bloody, bloody belly. And I got like the backest bit. As you can see, I'm not even putting them down. I don't like it. It's horrible. And because I had a cesarean as well, apparently you don't need to body as fast. You got to pick him back up. I don't want him back down. He's happy like this. Yeah. So you you kind of we had this there and apparently you don't need it as fast. So taking it ages. I put like three stone on something like that when I was pregnant. So 